everyone, Sherlock Phantom One here and welcome back. I am very excited. Today we are getting into another first time watching Disney movie. And this is gonna shock some people, but I have never seen The Little Mermaid. I, I know context about it. I know that she like gives up her voice. I know Ursula's character. I know some of the characters like Sebastian, but honestly, I just never got around to seeing this as a kid and wasn't really interested in it. So I thought, I'd sit down and watch it with you guys today. So I'm really excited to get into it. I enjoyed Tangled. I enjoyed the Goofy movie. So uh, I guess sit back, grab a snack, and enjoy the reaction. Oh yeah, I'm telling you right now, just because of the water world. Oh, jellyfish. Get back up there to get that dog. 
my gosh, Ariel, this is kind of stalkerish. Don't you dare. Oh my gosh. This is kind of weird. You've known, you haven't even known each other. You literally just like saved him and now you're looking at his face and you already know that you love him.
make much sense. Why can't that be like if he doesn't repay you, you get your voice? Purpose. 
really went there. That's right. He'll be kissing up. He really went there. Well, it's time Ursula took matters into her own. This is so annoying. I hate that he's already like so in disbelief that this could be the girl because he hasn't heard her voice. That doesn't make any sense. She literally has every other mannerism that the girl did. Well, there goes your clue. Like he falls for one girl. Uh huh. Of course, I was fine. Hurry up. I, I saw the, the watch. The witch was watching. Okay, oh my gosh. Sir, and she thought she was on a stolen set of pipes. Oh, my gosh, he harped on her. 
Okay, so that was The Little Mermaid. I had a lot of fun with that. I remembered a lot of that story. I've never seen this, but I do know little snippets of this story. So I knew about her losing her voice. I knew kind of about Ursula getting stabbed in the end. Something, you know, I kind of knew about those little bits. However, this is a very cute story. Will I watch it again? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. But I honestly enjoyed it for what it was. I loved the underwater world, always do. I really enjoyed the colors. I like the story. I think it's super dumb that Eric did not know, could not put his two brain cells together and find out that this girl, just because it's not her voice, is still the girl that looked like the girl. So that was very frustrating. Ursula's battle scene, I feel like that kind of started and ended so quickly. So that was really weird. Like. Maybe I'm wrong, but I feel like sometimes the end battle scenes are usually longer. I mean, I feel like her defeat was so quick. Then again, Frollo's was really quick. Scar's was pretty quick. So, you know, I guess it's just kind of a Disney thing. But I really enjoyed that. I hope you guys got enjoyment out of this. I hope that I'm not, my reaction was fun to you or I didn't offend anybody who really loves this movie and really holds a special place in their heart. Um, like I said, I enjoyed it. I thought it was pretty good. If I had to give it a rating, like had, had, had to give it a rating, I'd probably say three stars out of five. I had a lot of fun. I don't know that I watched it again, but I might. I don't know. Uh, I'll just have to see how I feel. But I did enjoy the songs, Part of Your World, Under the Sea, and Kiss the Girl, iconic songs. Other than that, I wasn't as impressed with um, Poor Unfortunate Souls. I know that's a big fun villain song for a lot of people. It just didn't really vibe with me that much. But I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you got any enjoyment out of this. If you did, be sure to leave a like on the video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for staying awesome. And until next time, guys, bye. Under the sea, under the sea. Darling, it's better down where it's wetter.